I went to a garage sale last weekend and I found this really cool Monopoly game right here. Uh, this is brand new sealed, a Christmas story. And even though the MSRP says only $35.99, this is actually selling on Amazon for 150 bucks right here. Now on eBay, it's much less. It's probably around like 75 to 80, maybe a little less. Um, and you might be wondering, why are people paying so much more for items on Amazon? Well, why do people pay so much more for Gucci? Why do people pay so much more for Prada? It's the service, it's the brand, it's the reputation. And, and people will pay for a premium on Amazon. now. Keep in mind, on Amazon, there'll typically be a, a lot more fees, but still, I'll make more money bottom line selling an item like this on Amazon versus eBay. Okay, now there are risks of selling this on Amazon. Of course, you know, selling on Amazon, I have to put this in a box and send it to Amazon and hope they don't destroy it. Hopefully they don't lose it. Hopefully an, a customer doesn't open it up, play with it and send it back used, which could happen. But it's such a small percentage that it's still worth it. But I found this for five bucks and I just wanna share with you guys to be on the lookout for Monopoly. Be on the lookout for anything that's themed. Stuff like Star Wars, right? Uh, a Christmas story. There's so many different ones, sports teams. Um, I mean, I could go on and on. If you could find it brand new sealed, you're in it. You're in it for the money, right? Money in the bank. One, one thing I would just say is a lot, of, a lot of times if you're gonna try to sell this on Amazon, you're gonna be restricted. I was grandfathered in. For some reason, they still like restrict me on certain titles of Monopoly. It could be maybe because it's themed out with another brand possibly, or there could be some type of license. But if you go to a garage sale and you find brand new sealed board games, especially Monopoly, you don't wanna pass on these, right? I feel like everybody already knows about this because I don't find these very often. But as I've been saying, you know, over the last couple of videos, this is money in the bank. Do not pass on Monopoly board games. Now, if it is damaged, here's a tip. If it's damaged, like it's bashed in, but it's still sealed, you can still pick it up if you get it for a good price. A lot of times at garage sales, you might get it for a buck or two because you can sell these on uh, eBay open box, right? Just, or, or new with defects. And a lot of times they'll still sell for a decent premium because the thing is a lot of these older board games that you can't find anymore that are collectible, people want all the pieces to be there. That's the big thing. Like there's two types of people who are buying these, I feel like, like the collector who's gonna put this on the shelf, right? And just be like, I got this, you know, you can't find it anywhere. Or the person who kind of like wants to relive a memory or something and they wanna play it with their family or with themselves and they don't wanna be worried like are all the pieces there because there's a lot of pieces in these Monopoly games. So just wanna share this cool find with you guys. Um, again, I'm not doing this to impress you, more or less to just kind of open your eyes up because we're all on different levels to the opportunities that you could come across when you're buying and selling on eBay and Amazon. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. If you wanna learn more about what to buy and sell, check out the reseller sourcing handbook. We've been getting so many amazing messages and feedback of people finding stuff that I've been helping them with. So if you want some mentorship from me, check out that link down below. And I know you guys will love that. But with that being said, go out there, find some Monopoly, and keep on picking and making that money. Peace.